Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to do a playoff simulation in NHL 24 as if the playoffs started today. So let's take a look at the NHL standings as of today. It's Tuesday, December 12th. We've got Boston, Florida, and Toronto, the three top teams in the Atlantic. Rangers, Islanders, Flyers is a three in the Metropolitan. And Detroit and the Washington Capitals currently in those wild card spots. So in the Eastern Conference, we're going to have Boston versus Detroit, New York Rangers versus the Washington Capitals, the Islanders versus the Philadelphia Flyers, and the Florida Panthers versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. So the Rangers and Bruins have the same amount of points. I gave the edge to the New York Rangers. They have more regulation wins, more regulation overtime wins as well. Let's take a look in the Western Conference. Colorado, Dallas, and Winnipeg are going to make it from the Central Division. Vegas, Vancouver, and LA in the Pacific. And then the wildcard teams are going to be the Nashville Predators and the Arizona Coyotes. So in the first round of the playoffs, here are our matchups. We've got Vegas, Arizona, Vancouver, LA, Colorado, Nashville, and Dallas versus Winnipeg. And on the east, we've got Boston versus the Detroit Red Wings, Florida versus the Toronto Maple Leafs, the New York Rangers versus the Washington Capitals, and the New York Islanders versus the Philadelphia Flyers. So let's get going here, see how this playoff simulation pans out, and we'll catch up with you in round number two. So the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs is now complete. In the Western Conference, Vegas defeated Arizona in 7. LA defeated Vancouver in 7. Nashville defeated Colorado in 5. And Dallas took down the Winnipeg Jets in 6 games. In the Eastern Conference, Boston beat the Red Wings in 6. The Leafs beat the Florida Panthers in 7. The Rangers swept the Washington Capitals. And the New York Islanders beat the Philadelphia Flyers in 5 games. So you've got Rangers versus Islanders and Boston versus Toronto in the East and in the West. We've got Dallas versus the Nashville Predators and Vegas versus the LA Kings. So let's take a look at the playoff stats through round one. Rupe Hints, JT Miller both have nine points for centermen. They're currently leading in that category. Rupe Hints has played one less game, though, than JT Miller. Kevin Fiala, Jason Robertson have got 10 points. So they are currently leading as of now. Let's take a look at some other positions, though, to see if anyone is ahead of those guys. No one on right wing as Lawson Krause and Joe Pavelski are leading the way with eight points. A bunch of right wingers are sitting with six points so far. For defenseman Charlie McAvoy, has got eight points in six games. A couple guys in Dumba, Riley, Quinn, Hughes are at seven. And the rest, Petrangelo, Ekblad, Niels Lundqvist, Montour are at six. Shea Theodore is at five along with Braden McNabb. For goaltenders, let's see the guys that are going to be heading on to round number two. It'll be Aiden Hill, Cam Talbot, Jake Ottinger, UC Soros, Linus Allmark, Ilya Samsonov, Igor Shesterkin, and Ilya Sorokin as well. The best goalie so far in round number one has been Shesterkin, 969 save percentage. A couple other guys are looking really good as well. UC Soros, 952, Allmark, 928, Sorokin, 922. So let's see how number two plays out and who will be headed to the conference finals. So the second round of the playoffs is now complete in the Western Conference. Vegas defeated the LA Kings in six games, and Dallas took down the Nashville Predators in six games. In the Eastern Conference, Boston beat Toronto in seven, while the New York Rangers took down the New York Islanders in five games. So we've got Boston versus the New York Rangers in the East, and the Vegas Golden Knights and the Dallas Stars in the Western Conference Finals. Taking a look at playoff stats, after two rounds of these playoffs, Hint 17 points, currently leading all centermen. Zabenejad's at 13, but he has played three less games. Stevenson is also at 13 points. For left-wingers, Jason Robertson, I'd say probably leading the playoffs in scoring with 10 goals, 10 assists for 20 points. Tyler Bertuzzi is the next best left-winger, but he has five less points right now than Jason Robertson. On to right-wingers, there's a couple guys, Nylander, Joe Pavelski at 15 points. Nylander is not going out of the conference finals, though, while Joe Pavelski is so I'm assuming Pavelski will end up passing him in that category Pasternak is also up there as well on to defense Morgan Riley's got the most 16 points McAvoy 14 points he's still in the playoffs right now Niels Lundqvist 12 he's still in Petrangelo Heiskin in as well with 11 points so might be a little bit more battle uh, for defenseman scoring for goaltenders Hill Allmark Shesterkin are still in along with Jake Ottinger as well. Uh, Igor Shesterkin's playing like he could win the Conn Smythe Trophy at this point, to be honest. 951 save percentage, 1.49 goals against average. The rest of these guys have been probably like average-ish. Hill, 907. Allmark, 902. Ottinger's been good, though, the 916. So we'll see which two of these goalies will end up going on to play in the Stanley Cup Finals. 
So the conference finals is now complete. Vegas defeated the Dallas Stars in seven, while Boston swept the New York Rangers. So we've got a Boston versus Vegas Stanley Cup finals, and Bruce Cassidy will be coaching against his former team. So taking a look at playoff stats, I'm just going to show you all of them at once instead of each separate position. Robertson leading the way, 27 points. Pavelski, 22. Marshawn, 21, along with Hints. Posternock, 19. Zibanejad, 17, along with JVR. William Carlson, Mark Stone, Charlie McAvoy, Alex Petrangelo, and then Eichel's at 16 points. So, I mean, only a select few of these guys are still in the playoffs. So, curious to see who will end up getting the most points by the end of the Cup Finals. And the goaltending in the Stanley Cup Finals is Aiden Hill and Linus Allmark. Shesterkin dropped and all the way to a 927 after that conference finals. Obviously, he didn't end up winning a game, so it does make sense. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup? Is Aiden Hill going to win it for the second straight year, or is Linus Allmark going to spoil the party? So for the Stanley Cup finals, I'm going to sim each game individually. Let's take a look at game number one, which will be played in Boston after one. It's 3-1 for Vegas. Eichel, Stone, Theodore get on the board, and Marshawn for the Bruins. After two, it's 6-3. Paul Cotter, William Carlson, Jonathan Marcheseau for Vegas, Morgan Geeky, and David Pasternak for the Boston Bruins. And after three periods, Pasternak will add another. They lose 6-4, though. Vegas takes game number one on the road. That's a very crucial game for them. Let's go on now to game number two, which is still in Boston. They're looking to win this to go into Vegas with a 1-1 series. Vegas is up 3-1, though, after one. William Carlson, Mark Stone, Nicholas Waugh, Jake DeBrus gets one for the Bruins. After two, it's 4-3 Bruins, so they've completely turned this thing around. Pasternak, Trent Frederick, Charlie Coyle. And after three periods, it's 5-5, so this game's heading to OT. Wah and Eichel for Vegas. Brad Marsh on for the Bruins. Who will be the hero? And it's Ivan Barbashev in overtime, giving Vegas a 2-0 series lead. And they're heading back home, up 2-0, exactly where they want it to be. Let's take a look now at game number three. Can Boston spoil the party in Vegas? Or is Vegas going to go up 3-0? 1-1 after 1, it's Marcia So and Beecher. 3-2 Vegas after 2, Marcia So and Martinez for Vegas. Pasternak for the Bruins. And after three periods, it'll end up finishing 3-2. So Vegas has currently got a 3-0 series lead over the Boston Bruins. Looking to end this thing in Vegas in game number four. Accidentally just sim that game instead of intervening it. But Boston ended up winning. So they're heading back home. Down 3-1. Can Vegas win this thing on the road and win the Stanley Cup for the second straight season? They're down 1-0 after 1, though, as Jake DeBrusque will get on the board. After 2, it's 2-2. Two -two. Lauko scores, but then Vegas gets two quick goals from Eichel and Nicholas Waugh. And in the third period, it's 4-4 four, four after 3. So we're going to overtime once again. It's Dorofeyev and Cotter for Vegas. Shattenkirk and Lindholm for the Bruins. Is Vegas going to win the Stanley Cup in overtime? And they will. It's Michael Amadio who will be the hero for the Golden Knights. And they will take down the Boston Bruins in five games to end up winning the Stanley Cup. Jason Robertson gets the most points in the playoffs with 27 in 19 games. Thank you very much for watching this video. Playoff bracket in NHL 24 if the playoffs started today, Tuesday, December 12th. These are the 16 teams that would make it. This is a simulation of what EA thinks is going to happen at this point. They think Vegas is going to repeat. Do you agree with this? Honestly, I think it's definitely possible they repeat. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content, I'd really appreciate it if you can go back and do so. It would help me out if you can like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.